So the mechanics are a bit complicated. I'll try to simplify it quite a bit. Yeah, when the savers deposit native BTC, for example, in the back end, it is still being split into Rune and BTC to deepen that liquidity pool. But now there is a, this new accounting concept in Torchain called the SINs, the synthetic version of BTC. Okay. So when you deposit one BTC, Torchain will mint one synthetic BTC for you. And these SINs live on Torchain blockchain itself. So your deposit is deepening the pool. It's, uh, it, there is a function to that. But Torchain sort of ensures that you can always redeem one for one back to your original asset. But you're still sort of exposed. So that price exposure are now being borne by the rest of the traditional LP guys. Mm -hmm. right? So the LP guys, if let's say uh, you put in one BTC, right? And it gets split into BTC and Rune. And let's say Rune prices drop. When you choose to withdraw, you will still withdraw one BTC out. So that, that loss, you know, because, because actually... Uh, the rune price drops, so your value is actually lower, mm -hmm. but you still remove the full value, withdraw the full value. The rest of the LPs would actually take that risk and take that loss in, in a sense. I see. Right? And so we can't have 100% sins. We can't have 100% savers. Uh -huh. So right now it is actually cap again, right? It is oh, cap no. to Raise the 15, caps. 1.5% of the pool. Because of that, uh, the yields are also different. Uh -huh. the rates the, the yields so all the yields are real yields they are the fees that the swappers who use the pools they will pay some fees these fees are distributed to the LPs uh, but now there's another distribution uh, part of those fees are distributed to the savers and the savers are expected to earn about half of what the LPs will right? so you have no uh, ruin exposure risk number one you have no impermanent loss risk because you're just holding one asset but because you take less risk, you are also given less yield, more or less half of what the LPs who take the uh, rune exposure risk and also the uh, impermanent loss risk and now the, this since leverage risk, but they will more or less earn twice the amount of the savers. 